All right, hey Libra, so I'm doing a fresh new singles read for you guys. Um, this is with the intention of calling in something new. Hopefully that's what you guys are here for. Um, it's a 30 to 60 day intention. So if you don't resonate with the intro energy, which is going to be your energy and focus and your most recent experience when it comes to love, check those moon rising and Venus placements. And if you're new, welcome you guys. I do hope that you subscribe if you like my energy. All right. So starting with your energy and focus, where you're at right now, Libra. Dang, what do we got? What is this? What's happening? So we got the Wheel of Fortune card. I feel like you guys are waiting for something to transition or change for you. Okay, what I want you to keep in mind is it's going to, especially if you guys have been in this um, situation where you feel like it's not, things are not changing, things are not progressing. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, keep your focus positive. You also got that emperor card coming through, which I feel is is more about wanting to call in. All right, that that uh, that soulmate, that real deal. Okay, um, I feel like it hasn't happened yet. So you guys could be on this uh, a switch where it's like you got to get out of your head. If you guys are sitting there and you are really saying I, it's not happening, it's not happening, it's not happening, and you're just really conflicted about love and the journey um, itself, um, especially if you guys have been single for a minute, it's time to get out of your head. It's like the will wants to it wants to change in your favor. All right, but it's almost like for whoever is here, you you don't have a lot of faith that things are changing, um, that that things want to change and improve for you. So I'm gonna pull a release what you what you need to release or let go of. Um, but what I'm saying right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you if you guys are in this mindset of it's not happening, it's never gonna come in. Um, you know, the one that got away, you know, you gotta get out of that mentality because it's like the universe is trying to shift in your favor, but. Um, if you guys have a, um, this mindset where things are just not happening for you, take the take the word not and, and toss it into the universe, okay? Um, and replace it with will. It's coming, all right? However you got to transition those words, um, do yourself a favor and start replacing all the negative connotations with positive ones um, so that you can, you can uh, um, see this shift for you. Um, on YouTube, you guys, there's a 21-day love affirmation by Eric Ho or Master Sri Akashna. And that was one, when I first started my journey. Um, that's one of the things I did for 21 days. I listened to it once or twice a day. And it's an affirmation that's 15 minute long, um, 15 minutes long, but it, it, it literally will change your perception of self love. Okay. And then that in turn calls in the more you embody self love, the more people start to believe it, the more people start to, they, they, they just become attracted to you. It's a magnet. The affirmation, I, I swear, it's a, it's a magnet to attract positive energy towards you. Okay, so let's see what your most recent experience is when it comes to um, matters of the hearts. All right, so we have the Hierophant card coming through. You got this Knight of Swords coming through. Um, you could be um, dealing right here with a... Gosh, is that Libra or Aquarius? I can't remember. You could have been dealing with one of those signs. You got the eight of coins and the seven of coins. So you guys um, could have met this person at work. That could be one of the reasons why um, it's hard to um, um, release, let go, or heal. Um, but I do see with the seven of pentacles, you are in that mode. You are um, in the mode of healing, okay? With the Hierophant card coming through in reverse, okay? When it comes to your most recent experience, I, I almost feel like you guys... Um, you could have had something solid that actually disrupted it, uh, like chaotically. I don't associate the Knight of Swords with negative energy, but it could be that something like, I don't know, I just see this abruption. Um, your foundation got shook, okay? And I do feel like you're trying to heal from that or recover from that. Um, it could be too, it just, uh, think back to the last person, right? Your most, um, um, the, 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 your, your most recent experience when it comes to love. Uh, it could be too that you guys were trying to make it work, trying to make it work, trying to make it work, and it just failed. You kept trying to heal it, and it just failed. I feel like some sort of a foundation was shook, maybe unexpectedly also, okay? Um, when it comes to the Knight of Swords, that's a hasty type of energy. But when it comes to the negative aspects with the Knight of Swords, that's someone who does act in haste. Uh, if they don't like, if they don't get, if things aren't going their way, they'll leave. Um, if they don't like what you said, they'll leave. If they don't like what you do, they'll leave. I hate to say it, but it could be one of those my way or the highway situations because this this guy right here, that Knight of Swords, that's a, that's sharp energy right there. 
Um, as much as you tried to make it work, I feel like it is still, it still managed to fall through. All right. So let's just see what you need to let go of, what you need to transmute when it comes to this. Yeah. Look at that. Uh, I feel like there's a lot, there's a lot to be said about this, what you can transmute, let go of. Um, the fact that it didn't uh, push forward in the way that maybe you thought or felt gaslighting, lies, cheating, blaming, narcissism, um, you know, manipulation. You got somebody who's not emotionally there, somebody who's um, not emotionally available. You got somebody who's jealous, moody, um, codependent. Um, I feel like there's a lot right here. Um, I don't feel like this was the best experience for you. Okay. The easiest way to transmute this energy from this connection is going to be to talk to this person in your mind and uh, bring it to your attention, everything that, that hurt you, and then forgive them for it. And then conversely, you want to forgive yourself for carrying this pain because all it's done is prevent you from moving forward um, and truly finding somebody that is, is good for you, right? So let's see who's coming in. This is a 30 to 60 day. Keep that in mind. So the more you can work on transmuting this negative energy, um, the quicker this other um, energy will come through. So who is coming in? Look at that. I love it. So we got, you got heavy, heavy, heavy a water energy coming through. All right. Um, with the Knight of Wands, you got Leo, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So those are the prominent energies you're going to want to pay attention to that show up in your life. All right. This person could be younger than you. I don't know how old you are, but these right here are depictions of youth. Um, and if you guys are like, I've never dated somebody younger, that's not my type. That's not my style. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take that out of your mind because, you know, as well as I do, that our soulmates could be um, different from what we've ever imagined. You got a soulmate coming through and a wish fulfillment. So this person that's coming in next, they are truly going to be an inspiration. They're going to be a humanitarian. They're going to be somebody kind and gentle, but fun, passionate. This is like somebody who wants to go on adventures, who wants to discover, who wants to explore. And with the Page of Cups coming through, um, I love the youth and the warmth that comes from this card because to me, um, it's not a breadcrumbing card. It's not in reverse, uh, but this person comes through with a youthful um, idea when it comes to what they want in terms of love. Um, this right here is is just, it's tender. It's very, very tender. I love that energy. So let's just get a little bit more about this person. A little bit more about this person. Yeah, look at that. They are truly going to be, um, they're truly going to be a, like a knight in shining armor. All right. It's like they're coming. They could come from a distance. Not that they live at a distance, but they can come from a distance, like move to your area. Okay. It could be that you meet this person while, while traveling, um, or they could be traveling to where you're at. So if you don't have any travel plans, you guys, this person could be traveling to your area. All right. Um, I hate to throw long distance in there, but that could be some of the case for some of you guys. You got the Knight of Cups coming through and we have the Six of Cups also showing up right here. Again, youthfulness is what I see. With the Knight of Cups coming, um, you know, I feel like the physical attraction is definitely going to be there. The Knight of Cups is somebody who's very creative, very uh, charismatic, charming, um, imaginative, um, very, very, very good looking. Okay, this person's going to be a charmer. And with the Six of Cups, it could be that this person has children or you guys, um, you know, eventually, you know, talk or get into talks or details about children or blending families even. Um, as the Queen of Pentacles is showing up right here, you guys, she's somebody who's very, very independent, very independent, and very balanced when it comes to material wealth. So it's like this person, although maybe younger than you, they're going to have their stuff together in such a way that you're not going to be taking care of them because they can take care of themselves. Um, if this person does have kids, they know how to balance kids, work, um, a romantic life. They know how to balance all of that because that's who that queen of pentacles is. All right. So let's just see how this person's going to feel about you. How are they going to feel about you? Look at that. Wow. You guys, that's like a divine pairing right there. Again, there's just going to be a huge significance on attraction, the physical appearance. I mean, that's not everything you guys, but this person is definitely, they're going to, they're going to think the world of you. Like we belong together. There's just no other match. Okay. Um, when it comes to the tower card, you know, I feel like there are some fears that, that, that do come through. Okay. But as far as fears go, I feel like that's going to be closed out after you guys meet, after you start to get to know, you know, get to know each other's energy. Um, I really feel like, you know, this person is going to be like, ah, there's no more searching. And, and if anything, they're going to, they're going to uh, make you feel that same way. There's no more searching. 
um, you know, with the tower card coming through, I just got to say that there's never going to be perfection. So the tower card for you guys might be distance. It might be travel. Um, it might be trying to uh, navigate how you guys can make this work. Um, but I don't see any negative energy, even with the tower card showing up here. Um, and it could be too, that if they are traveling, you guys, the biggest tower moment that's going to occur is if they have to go back somewhere, especially if they're not relocating. Okay. Um, it's all fun and exciting though. You guys just keep an open mind because anything is possible, right? So let's just see how you are going to feel about this person, how you will feel like, yeah, I can't stop thinking about them. Like I, I want to lock them down. No, this right here is like wanting to take, um, yourselves out of that single status, right? I want to move forward. I want to grow. I want to progress. You got that Empress energy coming through right here. Um, how you're going to feel about this person is, is this, uh, they give you a sense of home, comfort, um, security, stability. This person feels like home, right? They feel like a soulmate. You can't stop thinking about them. You can't get enough of them, right? I love this energy. So, um, let's just see what, what your advice is. Your advice to close this off. Yeah, look at you guys. It's time to let go. It's time to let go of what you cannot it's time to let go what you can what what you know what you know is no longer necessary or needed in your life especially when it comes to that past energy it's time to let go of that and release it because not everybody's the same you got somebody that wants to come in and prove that to you libra all right so initials we got ai cb and yo you guys take care